take a look at the Cedar Creek Silverback Edition. You can see the back, it is a toy hauler with a ramp. It's designed so you can fit a couple motorcycles here, plus it has some storage up front. You could probably fit a small quad in here as well, side by side, maybe if it's a small one. Really cool though. LED lighting pre-wired for a Furion camera. More storage across the side here because the bedroom is elevated above this. Three axles. These are going to be the Westlake G-rated tires. Equalizer, easy flex suspension. Runs on a 12-inch I-beam frame. Has a hydraulic leveling system. Storage area is a little cramped. It is a pass-through storage. They kind of have it blocked with this box here. But it is not a drop frame, so that's why this area is taken up here. I do wish that this water board was closed off in case you had any type of water that leaks out of any of the pipes or anything. It just drains right off the bottom. It doesn't have any chance of getting over into this area. Has this really new Lippert slide system here that uses these tracks that are bolted on. Very similar to a cable slide system, except it doesn't use cables. It uses these aluminum tracks. Still prefer the old-fashioned rack and pinion, which they do use underneath the main slides. You know, at $54,994 off of a $94,000 MSP, roughly $40,000 discount, this actually isn't that bad of a deal. Keep in mind, this is a 2018 model, though. This is going to be a little bit more affordable version of a standard Cedar Creek. You can see it has the nice arched ceilings. Huge kitchen. This is a front living room platform. Nice dinette area here. Has a very spacious kitchen with a lot of countertop space. Has a front living room setup. Both of these fold out into a huge bed, of course. Whisper quiet AC units in this unit. Theater seating here. A lot of pantry space here. Has a good size bathroom. One piece shower assembly. That's a good cabinetry here. Lots of space down here. Going up into the bedroom area because it rests over storage. It's going to be a queen size bed, wardrobe slide over here, another whisper quiet AC unit up front. Pretty good amount of room though at the end of the bed. Enough room for a stackable washer and dryer. One thing I'm noticing about this RV show is they have a ton of toy haulers. Almost everywhere you look, you're looking at ramps. Lots of really nice full body paint models. Some very nice hybrid models that are more built around a living area. Beautiful, beautiful toy haulers. This Thunderbolt with full body paint really stands out. What do you think this one's painted after? So I am always being asked to review pop-up trailers, so let's take a look at this one. This is a Rockwood 2280 BHESP, 2019 Rockwood, 13,494, MSRP of 16.3. It's about three grand off the price. This has a really, really great aggressive look to it. Off-road tires, really gives it more of just, again, that off-road aggressiveness look to it. It's not necessarily gonna be a functional thing unless your trailer is sliding around on sand a lot, but has a lot of really interesting touches, such as this little slide area that you can put a table into. Even a barbecue grill can attach there. Let's take a look inside of this one. This one's really special because it comes equipped with something a lot of them don't have, and that is this little shower assembly right here. You have the ability to have a shower and a bathroom inside of this, and you simply wrap a curtain around here if you need privacy. This closes down when you're not using it, and you have a nice table area or storage. Plus, you have a king-size bed up here. This is huge. You have a huge sleeping area on one end, and on the opposite end, you have a queen-size bed. So just a tremendous amount of sleeping room in here. Plus, this dinette buffet area turns into another bed, and you have another bed right here. This is a really, really cool setup. What I don't see is an air conditioning system in this specific coach. It does have a ceiling fan on it, though. And you can see here it has a nice little cooktop area, sink. Kitchen's nice. The light tones make the inside of this look and feel real fresh. This is definitely a soft-walled unit. 
that fantastic fan is really moving a lot of air in here too. And they do make certain models of these with an air conditioning unit on top, or sometimes you can even get one added to it. Your furnace is going to be down there. has a little refrigerator as well. Something else that's real nice is you have all this storage in front between the front of the RV and the actual coupler to store things like bikes, other little things. Holds dual propane tanks, manual jack. Let's take a look at the numbers. So this has a cargo capacity of 1,263 pounds, and the gross vehicle weight rating of this one is 3,838 pounds. So this is a relatively heavy pop-up camper. Definitely something that's easily half-ton towable, or even maybe a small compact pickup truck like a Canyon or Colorado could easily tow this. Here's the back side of your refrigerator. Here's your furnace, and of course all your connections. 30 amp connection right here. Nice LED lighting on the back. Here's your spare tire. This is actually a really nice pop-up. These things are really cool, and if you're moving up from tent capping or from a smaller pop-up, this would be a really nice unit to consider. Anyways, guys, I'll be out here a little bit longer. If you haven't had a chance, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.